Back at it. October the 6th, 2020. Um, I'm making this video and it's in reference to the uh, NBA Finals. And, you know, I haven't made a video since I made the last video. Because the last video I made, it, it just didn't get support. At first it had four likes and one dislike. And then it changed to two likes and one dislike. And so, I mean, I'm not here to play games, man, about the uh, uploads and the information and material that I put on the channel. You know, this is our channel and, you know, I can only fulfill my role. And if you don't like the videos and, and comment and support them, if the channel can't grow and we can never go live and do the live chat and really get down to the gist of these things and to where I could just talk freely without having to just show you images you know in that last video I made uh, I initially had the Heat win in the first game and they didn't and then I came back and I said they're going to win game 3 and I showed why and they did and it was $380 on the money line even if you lost on the first game you won whatever you lost back and some on the game 3 and you know it's you know initially in that video i said the game the series is going seven games and you know i'm sticking to that i'm sticking to it going seven games i know people were saying that it's going to go four one because of the kobe hoax code and all that but you know we have to realize that that 41 is a hoax code so if you ride it all the way to the end you're bound to uh to uh have to go through a down a down trend with it breaking so you know rather than that happening then seeing after the fact oh it went 4-3 and that's 14 and 14 is reflection and sounding smart like these other guys after the fact you know they they claim to make these picks and calls but it's always after the fact you know they claim they call Kamala Harris being picked by Biden but it was after the fact it's like and they didn't pick the date I did it's like they didn't have the final two picks of the finals it's like I was the first person that did the video on the Laker heat and the symbology of fire versus water I mean it makes the most sense because it's true and it's accurate and like I commented with uh one of the uh comments when I responded you know I said that you know, they asked me why I didn't pick the heat and show the breakdown. It's like, I'm not these other guys. If you want to see both sides and then me tell you that, yeah, I called it because I told you both sides and, and try to take credit for it, then you have to go follow these other charlatans. You know, it's like, you know, most of these people that do this are charlatans. They want you to sign up for their Patreon. They're begging and asking for money and pleading for money and saying how they need money so they can keep doing it and shit. Like, if you like doing it, what the hell does it have to do with somebody giving you money to do it? If you like doing it, do it. So you don't need no damn support. Like, you made that video. Why you can't make another one and then doing when you can? Oh, no, well, this is going to save the world. Buy my book and all this other kind of uh, bullshit. And it's like, I'm just getting tired of watching people support these charlatans. And then the real people that are really doing good, um, good videos and showing you good information are just being overlooked. And, you know, it's like my, you know, my material and whatnot is just not getting the value. And that's why I didn't make a NASCAR video last week, because after that, I just questioned maybe I shouldn't make another video. These people don't they don't appreciate anything I do, really. And I didn't. And I did pick the winner. It was Hamlin. And it was big money on the line to win with Hamlin because he fell down to 32nd place. And there's certain people that interact with me through email that got that pick and we all won. So if you really are serious, then send me an email and then you could get on that list and interact with me. But I wanted to show you this image right here. You see Anthony Davis? Okay, that's that's the, the look that you do when it's like you in trouble. Like, ooh. I'm in trouble. Like, ooh, what happened? Like, and then you hear the narrative about being in trouble after the Heat won that game. So then you can start to see that, you know what? I can see that the Heat are starting to come on and, you know, they set out all these guys and they're going to come back now. If they won without them, why can't they win with them? And, you know, that's showing uh, more evidence that this series is going to go seven games. 
It's like the Heat are going to win again today and people are going to miss it because they're talking about the 41 Kobe hoax code and how the series going 4-1. And then when that doesn't happen, I wonder what they're going to say. Oh, it's going to go 4-2 because Kobe was 42. Then that's not going to happen and they're going to miss all the plus money on the Heat. Once again, I'm only getting frustrated in, in, in speaking like this because I want to see other people win. And so I'm winning. I just want other people to win with me. They can stay open minded and, and look at the information for themselves and not regurgitate and rehash these scripts of what these other uh, puppet type charlatan people are telling them. So, you know, the, the Spolster record ends uh, with 86 wins and 54 losses. And we know that 86 means you're out. So once he gets to 86, he's done. And then the 54 comes next. And then Vogel, he gets to the 47th win of the playoffs, his 47th playoff win in the 74th season, and then he ends on 36 losses, not 34 because he has 34 now. Okay, Miami Heat equals 43 and four ciphers. 43 uh, is the 14 prime number, and that's a reflection of 41. And that makes more sense to happen in the final game than every single series to go 4-1 because it's too obvious. They know it's scripted, they know people is on to it, and they probably don't want it to end like that. And besides that, with 36 being uh, associated with 666, 666, the 36 triangular number, it's very fitting that his record would end like that because it could have ended with a sweep on 33, and it didn't. And I can see that it's going to that 36 mark. So, as I indicated, the Heat win today, the Lakers win the ninth. We see they skip from going every other day to the ninth of the next game. Game five is on the ninth. The Lakers win. Then you have the 11th where the Heat won on Sunday last week. They won against Boston on the Sunday. They didn't, didn't, didn't win against the Lakers until the 11th. So they'll win again. And then the Lakers win the title on the 13th. Leave your questions and comments in the section. And please like this video and comment and, and, and just support this channel. I'm not asking you to sign up for my Patreon and send me money and give me money and it's going to save the world. I'm just saying help this help this information to spread by liking the video. Thank you for your support and I look forward to to hearing from you. Have a good day.